So firstly, tell us, how's preparations going for Saturday night? Yes, I, have, I haven't prepared for this fight for over a month and I have my last three weeks in Phuket at, at, at Attack Muay Thai. So, yes, I, I have been uh, sparing, working with all, all the good fighters from around the world. It, like, yeah, Russians, ETC. You know? <laughs> so, this is going to be good. I'm, I'm so ready after the last time I lost. So this time, I don't just care about to get back to win. It's, it's, it's too easy to just get back to win, right? Because for the whole mindset, I mean. But, but I try to challenge myself. I try to show everyone that what I can show that I'm not just this, I'm not just back to my 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 my, uh, my my form. I just I getting better. I want to show that. I was gonna ask you about that last fight. What have you learned from that fight? Uh, for the last fight, I got some problem about my my style because it's the first time I it was the first time I I I, I fought a very very high level fighter from from Russia and he's a good grappler. He's a strong wrestler got um, strong hands so my my, my mind just too, too confused and I, I it's like I am not really understand about myself so this time I spend more time to understand about my form myself my weak point my mistake and and this time I try I try to bring the, the best out of me mm -hmm. opponents what do you know about this opponent Rahul Raju this is debut in one you managed to watch any of his fights I have been watching his, uh, his fight before and He's very good. He's a good scrambler. He's always he's always want to scramble, even on feet or on the ground. That's the same style with me. That's a problem. So and he's taller. <laughs> so I hope my experience is gonna help because I have I have more experience. I I I think that I have more stuff in my arsenal. And the only, the only one thing I know that his name is just the same name with the son of Buddha. So I like oh. <laughs> Buddha bless. <laughs> Don't be too nice to him inside the cage. Don't be too nice to him inside the cage. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> but he's good. He's nice guys. And, and but in but in that cage, we we can't be so nice. But actually, from the last fight, we we are so nice. To, I was so nice to my to my opponents, right? And he's the same. We like friends, and every time we punch on each other's face, like yeah, that's a good one. But I know for, for the fans, they can be like, what are you doing, sparring or what? But. Yeah, in the fight we always focus on fighting more and this time we just focus on fighting. <laughs> How easy is it to turn that switch to go from a nice guy yeah. to punching your opponent in the face? It's, it's, like, it's just like, like a job, you know, because we, we are doing our, our, our job, not just in the fight, not just when we get money, even when, 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 we, when we work in the gym, when you go for the sparring, you can't be so nice to your friends. You have, you, you're not going to be the a-hole, right? But you're supposed to be... Uh, a good training partner. That's the same thing. You have to be the same means, but you just in, uh, increase uh, more aggression in the in the fight. I think, and um, yeah, I think to 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 give it 100 percent is is how you just pay the respect to your to your opponents to to your co-worker. <laughs> yes. Well, some fighters will fight their teammates. Some won't. Would you fight a teammate? Uh, tip, tip, sorry. Would you fight a teammate? Team. You mean my teammate or his? Yeah. Would you fight one of your own teammates? Um, I actually I never fight my, my own teammate before. Yeah, actually no, but 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 maybe I can say like eight or ninety percent of my fight, I I, I fight uh, all, all the nice all the nice opponent. Even we're not friends before, but we, a few days before the fight we become friends. <laughs> so maybe that's the same feeling, but for the teammate that's gonna be something different because you know everything you know about each other you know, everything you you may have something in your mind like in the sparring you can't pass through this this struggle and oh what's gonna happen in, how is how is gonna happen in the fight blah 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 that's gonna be some something different if one day that's happened that's gonna be something new and and a good challenge also i think <laughs> yeah. obviously you're from thailand historic country for muay thai striking but you have two submissions how important is it for you to be a well-rounded fighter rather than just rely on your striking um, I because of my background, I came from the other martial arts background like Judo or Kung Fu and I started BJJ when I was young, but like, yeah, one month a year, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I practiced BJJ for like 14 years, now I'm white baby two stripe, yeah! <laughs> okay, so uh, that maybe that, that's a good thing because it's, it's kind of weird because I'm Thai, I'm supposed to be so good in Muay Thai, right? like just like, oh you are Chinese, you are damn Shaolin monk or something like that. But but it's good for me because uh, when I don't have much Muay Thai uh, b uh, background, my, 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 my mind is more open for, for the other martial arts. 
I'm, I'm, I'm free to moving around like the other style, like karate style, Taekwondo style. I try to learn some new technique. I'm not stuck in only one technique. But I'm still learning more Thai, learning more boxing. Because when, when I'm, it, I'm not just saying it's in the DNA, but when you are Thai, you're in Bangkok, you can go to any more Thai camp. And, they're all good Muay Thai camp, right? So you can go to any Muay Thai camps in Bangkok and it's easy to learn and easy for the trainer to explain. And you saw, you see Muay Thai all for the whole life. So I think that, that's a cue that I didn't come from Muay Thai, so it's made me more open-minded. Yes. As Bruce Lee said, be like water. Or be like water. Yes, I, 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 love, I love that because when they say like you have your own element, I'm, I, I hope, I, I really hope you, they, they are like far or something like that, but Maybe for me, I, I, feel, I feel like my element is like a water because I'm always thirsty. <laughs> but seriously, when I get water, people don't like to drink too much when training, but I need a lot of drink water and I feel better. So yeah, I will get into that, 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 that quote, be like water, because it's, it's like my style too. Sometimes you never, some people are so strategic, right? But they, they know what to do. They know how to set the game up. They know what the, what the, the audience is going to do, what he's going to step, what he's going to uh, plan for, heading for. But for me, it's like you, you see nothing in the water, but you want to catch the fish. You have to maybe hit the water some, sometime and see what happens, see all the tendencies, and then start your first step. Maybe that's, that's be like water for me. Flow, following the situation, and be, uh, how do you say, uh, adapt, overcome, improvise. <laughs> Brilliant. Last question. What's your prediction for the main event? For the main event, Actually, first, I'm so sad because if I won the last fight, I'm going to be there with Martin, right? But, 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 when I see that Martin will be here with Bibiano Fernandez, I, I just like, okay, forget me. I, I forget that at all because that's a historic, historic moment. Uh, I saw Bibiano on his last fight in Macau. He's not that small. He's been a champion, but he's quite big. And he's not just good on, on the ground. He, uh, he threw... He knocked uh, Andrew Leonin down by the knee, and I saw that knee in the locker room. That's something else. But Martin, in, in the early hand, he got, that, he got his right hand. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe it's a uh, god of right hand, <laughs> get into his dream or something. But he came with the right hand and knocked everybody with the same technique. If they're gonna, if they're gonna work on the feet for the whole, for the whole five round, that's gonna be fun. Because for sure, we are not gonna, gonna stay there and, and take the right hand. But if Bibiano can stay close, I think it's going to be hard time for Martin. Uh, if Martin can, can stay outside, defend the, the cage work, I think Martin got a good chance. But mm, I think Bibiano got, got, got more, more experience. But, you know, size, size matter. Even Bibiano not that small, but still, you know. <laughs> so what, anything can happen. I may think Bibiano got more it got slightly, slightly better, but anything can happen, just like Martin always did, right? Surprise every time. <laughs> We're looking forward to looking forward to your fight as well. Good luck, Saturday yes, night. Thank you. Thank you.